Slam that buzz bait. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Kickin' Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're out here on the beautiful Ogeechee River. I'm actually by myself. We're gonna be trying to hunt for these really big bass. The last few days, my man Mac Hoover came down. Me, him, and Cody got on the boat. We've been filming some dope commercials for the new rod and reel that's going to be dropping that content is going to be coming out very very shortly and uh guys it is looking sweet we got some really cool shots and i think you guys are going to love this stuff but it's actually going to rain in like two hours so i wanted to come out here on the river get on a good top water bite we're going to chuck around a buzz bait and see what we can do but we're going to go ahead and back the boat in the water get out here on the lake try to catch some big bass and overall just have a good time let's get it yo by the way if you guys want to be the first to know about the new kicking their bass tv rod and reel when it drops you guys need to go to kickingtheirbass.com there's going to be a little pop-up on the screen that says be the first to know type in your phone number right there and you guys will be notified before anybody else and i'm going to tell you these rods are going to sell out in the first 30 minutes so if you guys are looking to buy one you need to go sign up to that texting service but let's go ahead and get this boat on the water and catch some bigs We're gonna rig up a little Texas rig on the kicking combo. I just tied up a buzz bait on my Mach 2 combo down there. We're just gonna be toying around with mainly that top water today, but some of these spots, you know, I'll throw a little soft plastic on just to make sure I'm catching the fish that are on there if they don't wanna come up and eat that. So that's kind of the game plan. I think we'll catch them pretty good. The water is a little high right now. This river can be tough as bricks when it's high, but it is all good. We're gonna make it happen still, and I think we're gonna catch some really good ones. There we go. This guy's a little Sanko, four out EWG, fourth ounce bullet weight. I should do the trick for that. That's what we'll use for our slow moving bait. And this is what we're gonna use for our moving bait. This is a Strike King buzz bait right here. If you guys wanna get any discounts on the rods and reels or baits that I use, I will actually drop the discount code in the link down below. You guys can go check it out. But let's go ahead and get today started. See if we can catch some good ones. Are you serious? I don't know if you guys just watched what I did there, but I casted my, you know, casted my top order, my moving bait all around these cypress knees up here. And they weren't biting it. You know, I didn't see anything. Picked up this slow moving bait, this little Texas rig, threw it up there and instantly had a bite. So that can give us a little sign of what these fish are going to do today too. You know, they might not come up for that top water or maybe just these fish weren't wanting to eat it. It's very important to have a couple different baits like this when you're covering water and really breaking down a certain area. You know, you wanna have some moving baits. You wanna have, if you have your top waters, you know, and also have your bottom baits to where you can go back through all this and catch the fish that weren't wanting to come up for that.
land that buzz bait. Here we go. Let's get it started. Not a big one, but a little 12 incher on the old buzz buzz bait. Pretty little fish, little tiny guy, but that is something. We got to start somewhere. There we go, guys. We got our first fish today, and it was on a buzz bait. That is good to see because I really want to catch them on a buzz bait today. So that is a good little sign. Got our first little bass. This is actually where I was gonna start, but my boat ended up drifting with the with the current, and uh, I just ended up fishing some other stuff here right before. Probably could have caught that fish right off the rip, but let's keep on casting. I think we can catch a couple more right here. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Don't spit it, baby. Mm-hmm. Barely hooked. Gosh, you look a lot bigger jumping. You look like a two pounder, but <laughs> solid one number. Oh, that's a pretty fish on the buzz bait. On the buzz bait. This fish feels good. It's cold. Yeah, guys, that's a pretty bass right there. Second one today on the buzz bait. Haven't been out here too long. Just waiting for this water to get right. Not a bad fish. Oh my gosh. No. That was a freaking big one. I can't even move him when it hooks up. Should be one right there. Come on, baby. Might want a worm. Sun just came out. I want to eat this as good as they were. Gosh, oh, oh no, no, no. I had him on still. That was a freaking toad, bro. Right up on that tree, where he should have been. Oh, that was a mud. Woo! I thought that was a big bass. <laughs> there he is. It's a good one, too. Around that buzz bait, where it really should have been. That's the best one yet. Nice. Look at that pretty one. That's what we're talking about. That's a fat guy. That's a good one on the buzz bait. Thank you, Bubba. I actually switched up to this bigger white one right here. I was throwing that white and chartreuse one. I had so many fish eat it that I was kind of bending it, so I changed it out. That was not a bad fish. Ate it right at the boat. Are you serious? That was wild. I almost missed him again because I wasn't paying attention. Let's go, baby. It's a decent one. Fat dude. Thank you, baby, for biting. We're a good fish. That's a thick boy. Thank you, Bubba. Might start eating this really good. Rain is pouring, it's coming. Ah, not what I wanted. It's raining good too. I might start eating this buzz bait good, but I'm about to get drenched. I need to put my phone up.
Well, we are back here on the river. I got rained out yesterday, guys. I got about two hours of fishing. We caught about four or five fish on a buzz bait, and I just got dumped on. It was so bad. I was drenched. I was soaked. I was mad. Every every single emotion was pouring out of me towards the end of that day. But we are back out here on the Ogeechee River. I actually got Cody with me today. We're going to go out for just another couple hours. It might end up raining a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. The water's starting to look right. You know, yesterday we came out just a tad bit too early. Right when it started raining, those fish were just turning on and starting to bite, but it was just too brutal for me to stay out there. But we're about to hit the water right now. Throw that buzz bait, top water only, baby. See if we can get some more fish. But hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying this video so far. Let's hop right into it. We should go fishing with a crab out here. Yeah. <laughs> I had that idea a long time ago and I had one, but I never ended up doing it. Ooh, that's a good one. He ain't even that big, dude. He looked a lot bigger when he hit it, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So first one today on a buzz bait, not big at all, but that's a start. Gotta start somewhere. Sitting right here where this little creek goes in. It's really shallow right now because it's low tide. It's sitting around the edge. Dude, 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 dude. That was a freaking huge one. Get off of me. Cody, that, that was a freaking four or five pounder. Did you see that? Oh my God. Dude, that was a big one. I saw her kind of come up for it. I think that fish was every bit of four to five pounds. That was, that was a big one. I just can't believe she didn't eat it and then she didn't give us another chance to catch her. Oh. Another big, and I saw the nose three pounder. Dude. God, dog. I saw the side, I saw the whole fish right there, dude. Yep, dude. Gosh, dang it. I saw that whole fish, he's every bit of three pounds. I cheated. Top water only turned to top water in one Sanko. Just went over that with a buzz bait. That's why it's good to have, you know, multiple baits, guys, like a bottom bait. If you're throwing a top water and moving bait, follow it up with soft plastic. Catch the fish that weren't wanting to bite. Little guy. Not what we're looking for. I got him. It's a good one. Oh, having this hook's weird. Look how fat that sucker is. That's a fat dude. And the YouTube video had to suffer for this guy, guys. Me and Cody talk about it all the time. We go out here and we film these videos where it's like top water only and big worm only and all this stuff, but we end up missing so many fish that we wouldn't normally catch. I just could not pass that up. Like I would have not have caught that fish if I kept throwing the buzz bait. So I had to pull it out. It might have washed up from somewhere else. I'm sure there's another one on this stump. This is a good little. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Mmm, that's a two pounder. <laughs> right? It's coming out of my mouth, dude, and this fish has clobbered it. This is what happens, guys. We come out here, we film these specific videos, but sometimes you just gotta adjust. You get some good fish like that. That's a good one, Cody. And look how thick that guy is. He's just on that stump, same stump I just pulled that fish off of. That was the next cast. Got us a beautiful one right there. Wow, you gotta love it. Thank you, baby. You're a nice fish. Let's get it, brother. Let's get it. No, uh huh? Dude, <laughs> they feel big, don't they? Yeah. Dude, you see what I did though? Uh, I did it right between that little window. Oh, did you? And you bit it. Thing, yeah. That's a pretty one. Look at the colors on him. Yeah. That's three fish on the same stump, brother. Show. Can we get four? Isn't that so messed up, man? We hit all this stuff that looks so good. Mm -hmm. You find one little spot and then they're just loaded. Fatty. Nice. For the size of him, dude, look how fat he is. He is. They're healthy. Nice one, though. Nice. I know one tournament we're gonna come out here, it's gonna be like that one time. Yeah. Where it's like three or four casts back to back, we just stack our limit. I was reeling it in. He ate a worm just. <laughs> We've been sitting here chasing fish on top water this whole day, and we're like, you know what? Let's spend the last 15 minutes throwing a worm, and it's been game over. Ridiculous. Caught four fish in what, Cody? Three minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Yeah. What? Oh gosh. Dude, no way. It's a good one. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, there's no way, dude. Look at that one. You know how I caught that, Cody? Oh. I was going on the trolling motor and I just clicked the automatic. You see how we're moving right yeah. now? And dude, I felt him eat it as I pressed the trolling motor. It was just going next to the boat like this and he freaking slammed it. That's a good one. That's crazy. Yeah, it is a good fish. <laughs> what in the world? Thank you, buddy. This is crazy, dude. That's <laughs> some crazy stuff right there. Oh, here he is, dude. That might be a good one. Yeah, pretty decent one. Yeah. That's the ones that we want right there, baby. Got a Sanko right there, top of his mouth. That's a fat guy. Had to end it off like this, guys. Had to put a few fish in the boat. I wasn't going to let that buzzbait bite just to feed us. Caught a lot on it, but... Those are some pretty fish too. Had to finish up with the Sanko, going over a lot of the shallow cover. Thank you, baby. <laughs>